Today I'd like to talk to you about playing white against Anakin's defence. Um, this is not totally straightforward to understand and it's, uh, it's a bit subtle and difficult but that's how we go. Uh, white's grabbing the centre, what you're supposed to do in the opening. Black's developing their pieces, what you're supposed to do in the opening. Um, Black is saying well I can do without grabbing the centre because you're going to spend a lot of time if you want to grab the whole centre and in that time I'll be able to undermine and attack it. And so it proves to be. Alakin's defence isn't bad. It's uh, I think the top grandmasters are a bit suspicious of it, but uh, it's still you know it's an okay defence. E5, annoying the knight. C4, annoying the knight. D4, and obviously white's got a huge centre. But now black has their say, and black says, well I'm going to under undermine your centre. <coughs> uh, and there are some big, sharp, complicated main lines with uh, F4 here. White centre is huge but rather hollow. It's like having a skeleton without any muscles on it. Your pieces. I'm going to recommend that you don't try and hang on to such a big centre for so long. Just play e takes d6 and uh, knights to c3 and now uh, bishop to e7, uh, bishop to d3 and now perhaps the only subtlety in this whole line if you play knight to f3, um, you might get pinned, and then your d-pawn is undermined. So after knight to c3, knight to c6 rather, uh, knight ge2, and white just plays to keep the advantage in the centre. There's now a thing where if black plays uh, the knight to b4 after castling, uh, <coughs> then we can't retreat our bishop down the diagonal because the c-pawn's hanging. So in this position play b3 for white and then if knight to b4 um, then simply bishop to b1 is fine and uh, you can drive the knights back uh, so that's not, there's no point doing that for black. So you, you've got more space, it doesn't tell you what to do but it tells you that you'll be able to do it more easily if you've got more space and if black's determined to attack your various uh, uh, pawns and so on you should have the wherewithal to defend them safely and at some point play c5 or d5 to embarrass those knights a little bit more. So I think uh, <coughs> white's doing fine in this position. Uh, the other way of capturing back on d6 is c takes d6. Same sorts of ideas really. Uh, put your pieces on natural squares. Knight g2 and if e5 um, I think just uh, 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 d5 here and if <coughs> knight to b4, well again we've got our problem on the uh, 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 c4 square but I think in this position you can drop back to uh, b1 again and if knight comes to uh, takes on c4 you've got queen a4 check so you can keep your pawns <coughs> after all and you can support it with with b3 so um, S same sorts of ideas, you're going for a, a sensible development and a bit more space but not going for so much space that you find it hard to defend across the piece. So that's Alekin's defence, how to play it for white.